So I just want to say hello and welcome to the Neo Life Community Facebook group for anyone that's on here today. I am so excited about this interview. Uh, before we get too far, um, I just want to let you know that after this interview, if you want more information, please get back to the person that invites you to this group. Um, also, feel free to share you know, with anyone and tag them um, in the post if you feel like this will benefit them. And lastly, for those that don't know, you can check out the, it used to be called units, but it's guides now for other live um, testimonials like this. So, um, okay, well, I am so excited to get started and interview this amazing lady, Rebecca Sherrick, or Williams, I want to say Sherrick, <laughs> and you can tell your story. Um, but anyways, she's a wife and a mother, and she's been using the Neolife products for a couple years now. And she recently gave birth um, approximately four weeks ago, right? So you have a new baby boy, a beautiful, healthy baby boy named Rhett. He is adorable and I cannot wait to get my hands on him. Um, and so anyways, Rebecca, thank you so, so much for being willing to um, share some of your health journey with all of us today. We have about nearly 8,000 members in this community. So I am so excited for them to hear your story. Um, so can you just start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, of course. Thank you, Nicole, for having me. It's always a pleasure. I always hope, as always, that we can help someone you know, with these interviews. So that's my prayer, um, as always. But yes, my name's Rebecca Williams. I'm 26 years old, and I live in Big Bear, California, um, with my husband, Casey Williams, and um, our little son now, Rhett. Um, and yes, I've been taking the Neolife products for um, about three years now. And I was fortunate enough to find them through my mother-in-law who had been taking the products for 20 years uh, when I met my husband at the time. So um, I used to be in nursing school. I am no longer in nursing school. Um, I wanted to be a mama instead. So we took that route and um, yeah, that's what I do. And my husband's a firefighter, um, EMT, and he's also in the Marine Corps Reserve. So we're very busy over here, so. Yes, you are. Um, okay, great. Thank you so much for sharing. And, and can you share with us a little bit about like what life was like before you learned about me life? Yes. So going back to 2016, um, you know, throughout my life, I had had really hard um, menstrual cycles. Um, but everyone told me that it was just well, all the women in your family have it, so you're going to have it too. And I thought, okay, well, this, you know, really stinks. But um, in 2016, I tragically lost my right ovary um, from a blood-filled ovarian cyst. And so after that, you know, I was only 20 years old at the time. And um, to me, that was pretty devastating because I didn't really know much about women's health. All I knew was I wanted to be a mom and I wasn't sure if those chances were ripped away from me or not. Um, I didn't really know what the state of my body was going to be like after that. And um, unfortunately, after I lost that ovary, my body went into a huge hormonal shift, um, as you would think, right? Like losing one of those things, that's what would happen. And it did. I, I you know, acquired depression. I acquired um, chronic fatigue. Um, I just inflammation everywhere, you know, um, hormonal swings, painful cycles. I was still getting cysts on my other ovary. Mm -hmm. And I really thought like, is this how my life's going to be forever? Like I'm going to be living off of a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen every day. Um, and so I really felt like I was at a crossroads and I would just pray and pray like, please God, like help me. This is so painful. Um, and thankfully in 2017, I met my now husband, um, Casey, and he introduced me to the product um, pretty much right away. He saw that I was not doing well with my health. Um, you know, I was a happy person, of course, but I was just very tired all the time. My cycles were really painful. Um, they were very irregular. And, you know, I had gone to the ER a few times for the cyst pain that I was having. And I thought, gosh, what if I lose this ovary too? Then my chances of having a baby are really, you know, not there. And Casey took a chance in, um, you know, courting me and marrying me despite the you know, maybe we won't be able to have children. So bless his heart for doing that. But thankfully, you know, he had been taking me a life for 20 years of his life. And um, his mom found me a life around the same time you guys found me a life. Yes, I know his mother and she is a gem. I love her. Yes. 
she's amazing. And um, I hope she's watching hopefully, but she has eight children. And so, um, you know, coming into that family and seeing how healthy everyone was and how vibrant everyone was. And even Kim herself, you know, I'm like, I want to be like her. Like she is so fit and she has it together and she's just so healthy. And I swear in the three years I've known her, she's never gotten sick once with a cold or anything. And I, you know, know why. Um, but so thankfully I found the products. So after I found the products, you know, um, I started taking, should I share what I started taking? Well, yeah. How long ago, hold on. Okay. So how long ago have you been, I mean, how many years has it been? I said a couple, but, um, I'm okay, not sure so, exactly when you started and what did you take? And then I want to know like how it benefit you, if you can go into how, you know, the products helped you. And yeah, of course. So I started taking the products in like the middle of 2018. So it's 2021. Okay. Let's say okay. Okay. I, w- I wasn't sure. Yeah. Let's okay. say three and a half, three years, just about. Not um, that long, but yeah, not that long really. Um, but about three months after I started taking, um, she got me started on the breakfast pack, Trianin, and Super B right away, and uh, Beta Zyme, just because I was having some gut issues. Um, and so within three months, I had my first normal cycle without any pain. And then I had naturally lost about 10 pounds um, so awesome. because like my hormones were starting to get like, you know, in line, I wasn't trying to lose weight, but it just happened slowly. And it was mm-hmm. hormonal weight, obviously. Um, and after that, like I have not had cyst pain since. So Amazing. pretty quick after taking the products, I saw results in we know that when we give our body whole food nutrition, that's, I mean, obviously we know it can't cure anything. It's not going yeah. to. Yeah, it's not a tenant. No. And I'll say that too, prevent, treat, or cure any disease. But like you said, it, it's amazing when you give your body the whole food nutrition that it needs, it's miraculous what it can do. You know? It really does. And I always tell people, side note, like it's like a domino effect. Once you start taking one thing, good things like, okay, you fix your gut health. Well, then this, it fixes this and then it fixes this. And it's like, that's why I think they're so awesome because it's like a domino effect. And then you get to the end and you're like, wow, I feel amazing. You know? Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. So then, um, I entered the, uh, 30 day challenge, like in 2019, um, after going to convention, I thought I want to join the challenge. And so I lost 25 pounds. I was a challenge winner. Mm-hmm. When I was I challenge. Yeah. And so that really helped my health too. And so um, I saw huge benefits from losing weight um, on top of the benefits of taking the products too. So, yeah, it's so great. I love it. I always love hearing your story. I've heard it before, but it's just, yeah, so inspiring. And I know this is going to inspire other women. Okay. So, well, that's I okay. I, oh, sorry. I no, just knew that if I, I knew if I lost weight and I got my body into a really good spot, then I would set myself up for success in getting pregnant and having, you know, at least trying to do those things before trying to have a baby. So I knew what I needed to do beforehand. Super wise. Okay. So let's talk about pregnancy. Um, I'm, so tell us about what it was like when just giving yourself these whole food nutritional, you know, um, in your pregnancy. And then of course, um, after, um, well, the entire time, you know, postpartum and all that. So I want to hear that. So going into marriage, you know, so we um, got married last May of 2020 and I just want to preface with like, I didn't, I prepped my body. Like I took the fertility program. Like I really, for a year, I wanted to make sure that like my body was ready going into marriage because we wanted to have kids right away, but I wasn't sure how quick or how slow that process was going to look like. We got married on May 2nd and, um, three weeks later or four weeks later, I took a pregnancy test and I was pregnant. So we literally got pregnant instantly, like my first cycle, um, being married That's and so was a blessing because we weren't expecting that at all. You know, we kind of thought, okay, it's in the Lord's hands. We've been taking care of our bodies and this is all that we can do. And legitimately took a pregnancy test on the day that I missed my period. And I was pregnant and everything was good. <laughs> so. What a gift. I love it. From the start, you know, I was very healthy in my pregnancy. Um, baby was healthy right away as well. And um, throughout my pregnancy, it was flawless. I didn't acquire gestational diabetes. My blood pressure was perfect the entire time. I always joke with people because I'm like, my doctor's appointments were so boring because they would be like, okay, how are you feeling? <laughs> They'd be like, how are you feeling? I'm like, amazing. Like, do you have any concerns? 
no. Um, do you have this? Do you have that? No, no. Okay. I will see you in four weeks then. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> great. That's great. And I can attest to that too, because I have three, you know, without meal life products and then the three babies that are on and it was just night and day different. Yeah. Huge difference. So absolutely. And you know, a lot of the women in my family struggle with their health. Um, a lot of them have had their gallbladders removed. A lot of them have diabetes. Um, they're overweight and pregnancy was really hard on a lot of my cousins and my family members my mom, including. So I was prepped, you know, like I was ready for war. I'm like, I am ready for this. Like I'm determined to have a good pregnancy. Now I know not most women don't enjoy being pregnant. Let's be real. Like it's uncomfortable. It's not, yeah, the best, yeah. but I'm That's thankful. Exactly. But I'm thankful because the baby was healthy the whole time and I was healthy the whole time. And I attribute that to the products that I took. So, yeah. so tell us about the birth process. So unfortunately I was accidentally induced two weeks early. So my situation's a little bit different. I was hoping for more of a natural um, scenario, but I had woken up and I thought, well, maybe I'm kind of leaking fluid. Let's go get checked just in case. But we all know you run the risk of, you know, accidentally being induced if you do get checked. And so they told me I wasn't leaking fluid, that I was totally fine, but then I went home and I, my water broke. And so we thought, okay, well it's baby time. And so unfortunately, because it was early and it was unnatural, my labor process was pretty long. Um, but I do have to say, even though I labored for about 27 hours, um, we had, they had the NICU team in the room because their protocol is if it's been more than 24 hours, then they need to have the NICU team in. Um, they were concerned that maybe he was going to have a fever, an infection, maybe his lungs weren't going to be developed. Um, you know, all of the things that you run risks of when you have an early preterm baby. Um, so he came out and he was as calm as can be to the point where they thought, oh, maybe there's something wrong. We needed his blood pressure, his heart or something of that sort. And he was perfectly fine. He had zero issues at all. Um, he was just a calm and cool and collected baby. And I'm so thankful that, you know, despite being in labor and my water break broken for 27 hours, I did not acquire an infection. His lungs were perfectly fine. Um, and everyone was just amazed at how healthy he really was and how he really thrived after birth too. Like, I want to make sure that I note that because when you have a preterm baby, they run the risk of being behind a little bit. And he has been thriving since day one. He was ahead on all of his tests, his hearing tests, his cardiac tests, everything that you can think of. And so I'm so thankful for that because I know that it's because I took care of my body throughout pregnancy. And that's all you want as a mama. You don't want your babies taken away from you right away after yeah, birth. No, and yeah. And I could relate with that because I, our son was born six weeks premature okay. and same thing, you know, they thought, okay, for sure. We're taking him back. His lungs are going to be fully developed, but sure enough, they were, and he was healthy. I was released within 22 hours and has been a super healthy boy ever since. So thank you. very grateful for the product. So yes, they've been a huge blessing. So, um, so what have you experienced since the birth now postpartum? Because you hear all these stories of these women getting, and I did with the first three, but not the last three, postpartum depression or the baby have jaundice or, you know, um, or the healing recovery time is awful. You know, with the first three, it was horrible. But the last three, it was amazing with me in life. So I want to hear your story. Tell well, me what you know, it's like, I so it's like now, because it's been four weeks, right? Yes, actually, oh, it's been like three weeks and like, four days. So we're still, okay. yeah, okay. it's been pretty soon after, you okay. know, I've heard a lot of my girlfriends say, oh, postpartum is the worst, you know, my recovery took forever. And so again, Nicole, I prepped, I'm telling you, I bought every product that I knew was going to help me. Um, depression runs heavily on my dad's side of the family. And so I really wanted to make sure I'm going to nip this in the butt. I'm not going to, you know, get myself into a black hole essentially, because I know myself and I know my history. So, um, man, I loaded up on in the hospital the right away, you know, taking my vitamins with me to the hospital, um, six carotenoid complex, six salmon oil plus two vegan D, you know, I really wanted to make sure that those products that we know work well with inflammation and help decrease your risk of depression. Um, I wanted to make sure that I was getting those nutrients right away following birth. And so I'm so thankful because, you know, this might be a little bit of too much information for some women out there, but um, I barely tore just a little bit um, and needed a few stitches and that's basically it. And um, 
I attribute that to all the vitamin E I was taking because, you know, I really did want my body to be strong and my skin to be strong. Um, I went for a walk two days. I couldn't believe that. (laughs) (laughs) I told my husband, I want to start walking. And he's like, you just had the baby two days ago. And I'm like, well, I want to start walking. So we went and walked a mile. A mile. um, Yeah. Two days after giving birth. Wow. I I couldn't believe it. You know, I was shocking myself at how great I felt because I was really prepared to feel horrible. Yeah. And so, you know, I was... (laughs) I was mopping and sweeping and vacuuming and Casey's like, you need to relax. Like it's okay. it's like the first week we were home and I'm like, I feel like myself. I feel normal, you know? And so I'm really so thankful again that I took what I took because, and I can share, you know, that if you want, but. Um, yeah, tell us everything you took real quick, if you can, yeah. because I know there's going to be some women asking and then if people watch the replay, they're going to wonder as well, I'm sure. Yeah, and I always make sure that I just make it known that like my needs for my body are different than someone else's, you know, because I am missing an ovary, I feel like my body does need the extra nutrients. And so I just want to make that known that like not all of these women are going to need as much as I'm taking. So yeah. I just want to make you probably took more than me, I'm sure. Yeah, so I take um, I take eight train in a day. I take six carotenoid complex a day. I take six Samuel plus a day. I take two vegan D. I take zinc, formula four, and um, CalMag. And so all of oh, and vitamin E of course, um, and the breakfast pack. So I I link all of that together to that's what works for me right now. You know, that's in, great in a few months I might be able to dwindle down on some of those things, yeah. but for me postpartum, I knew, man, I just want my hormones to be in check. I want to feel like myself. I don't want to be in a rut. And so that's what's helped me feel really good. I love it. And then you could be the best mom and best wife. You know, you can't put a price tag on that. You want to feel great and still be able to cook dinner and be energetic. And yeah, yeah, because you know, the sleep, and not, yeah, the sleep deprivation sets in. And if you're a mom, then you know that. And I think no one really truly prepares you for the sleep deprivation. And following that comes all of the emotions because you're tired. I mean, when you're worn down, you can't be your best self. And so I took extra, you know, when I was sleep deprived, just because I knew it was going to get me through it. And it did. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And just real quick, I just beg of you to share this about your girlfriend. Um, So she recently just got pregnant, but share that story a little bit because I was so excited. You had made a post. I'm like, she has to share this. This is amazing. Let's just get that in there. Of course. So I have a really sweet girlfriend. Our husbands used to work together. Last May, um, around the time that I actually found out I was pregnant, she called me and she said, I'm pregnant. You know, I'm, we were about the same time actually. And unfortunately she had a miscarriage right after. And um, I think she was about eight weeks pregnant when she had her miscarriage. And so, um, you know, through that, um, she, they kept trying, they kept trying and trying to get pregnant after, and they were having no luck. And so uh, my husband and I, we, we got together, you know, they came up for dinner one night and I think I was about like six or seven months pregnant. And I said, you know, um, I really think you should try the fertility program that my husband and I took, you know, a year prior to trying to have a baby. And they were, you know, not really sure um, if they wanted to or not. But at the end of the dinner, they said, okay, we really want to give it a shot. You know, we really want to see if maybe this can help us because they're at a crossroads with it. They had been trying for six months. They were starting to run tests and all the tests were coming back okay, but they still couldn't get pregnant. So um, I said, all you need is a little bit of whole grains and you're going to be good to go. So um, <laughs> we, got her, we got her started on the breakfast pack, um, Trianen, Zinc, and um, I believe Super B. And so just some basic products, you know. How much, that, in? How much extra treatment? I'm not sure how many she was taking. I would say maybe four to five a day, um, a little bit more than the, the typical serving, okay. um, plus the one in her Pro Vitality packet. Okay. And she said, you know, at the dinner, I think it was around Halloween or November time or something around there. She goes, I really want to be pregnant by Christmas. And I said, okay, well, I'll be praying for you and like start taking the product. She started taking the product. She ordered them that week, you know. Um, really started taking the products diligently. And she called me this week and she said, Rebecca, I've been keeping the secret because we've been just holding it in to get to the safe mark. But on Christmas Eve, I took a pregnancy test and I found out that I was pregnant and we're 12 weeks pregnant. 
I love stories like that. And I'm telling you, those pregnancy hormones kicked in for me. And I started crying. Those postpartum hormones kicked in because I was like, oh, yeah. you know, I've been praying so hard. And she said the only thing we started different was the Neolife products. And so, you know, just like I said earlier, Nicole, once you start implementing the things that our body's missing, those missing links um, that we talk about all the time, the body does miraculous things and it's not going to cure anything or, you know, any of that sort. But when you put whole food nutrition into your body and it works at the cellular yeah. level, there's nothing but good things that can come from that. And That's so right. you can see that firsthand. And so she is yeah. 12 weeks pregnant and I'm so excited for her. We're going to have a little meal life baby. And I'm just thankful that our, we were able to help her. So. Yeah. And just think if, you know, if Casey didn't share with you, then you could have shared with her and that's what I love. It's like, okay, we get better, we get excited, and we share, and like, well, different type of dom domino effect, but yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I really do think, Nicole, sometimes, you know, I'm so grateful. What would I do without meal life? I really don't know. It has blessed my health so much. I, I genuinely do not know what I would do without it, and so that's why I'm so thankful that, like, my mother-in-law found it, and that I found, you know, God led Casey and I together and I was able to find it and I've helped my family because of it. I've helped my friends because of it. And it's just continuous. And, and there'll be more, maybe yes. we can help somebody when, you know, today or whoever watches this video in the future. So, or yeah. you can, you can by sharing the story. So that's why I so appreciate you taking the time and sharing your story. And um, is there anything you want to add before we close? Um, I just want to, like reiterate the products I was taking because I know a lot of people do ask in the comments usually like well what was she taking so um I was taking the breakfast pack um extra train in and you'll have to you know measure it out to see what works for your body but breakfast pack train in cow mag salmon oil plus vegan d and carotenoid complex and vitamin e so those are the products that um, I've been taking and um those are part of the fertility program that we have. Um, and those are products that, you know, have worked for me. So I hope that they can bless someone else too. So oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. I so appreciate it. And thank you for everyone that's been on this call. Um, like I said before, if you want more info, just please get back to the person that invited you to this group. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. And I hope you have a blessed rest of the week. Thank you again, Rebecca. Thank you, Nicole. Okay.